It's into the second month. And by the way, it won uh, my, our colleague, Simon Kagwanjala, a new name, Kabakanjagala. Discuss. <laughs> <laughs>
from the Alliance for National Transformation, former leader of opposition, former senior member of the Forum for Democratic Change, now a senior member of the Alliance for National Transformation, the Honorable Winnie Kiza. Very nice to have you. Thank you, Charles, and good evening, viewers. And all the way from Busoga. Yeah, you're saying uh, ladies in Busoga are supposed to sit out? Namuendwa. Namuendwa. I must sit properly. Uh -huh. Yes. The Honorable Salam Musumba. <laughs> <laughs> you're most welcome. You need ah, more thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. Let We've been away at about the same time. Yes. I found you. Mm. Thank you. Very nice to have you. Mm. Okay. Uh, let, let, let me start with you, uh, Honorable Salam Musumba. You were part of the founding of the Forum for Democratic Change. There have been, there've been some very recent developments yes. uh, in the party. The sacking of uh, Ibrahim Semu Junganda, his replacement. There is another lineup of officials uh, that are being shown the exit uh, from the party. Uh, I understand that the party is, uh, if the Forum for Democratic Change reaches October <coughs> without electing new leaders, mm -hmm. you'll have a constitutional crisis. But you basically are running two parties in one. No, we are not. You are? We are not. Mm. We are not. Uh, and I'm glad you invite me as a founder member and as the first chair of Forum for Democratic Change, uh, the person who was given the responsibility to deliver the first National Delegates Conference. The beauty of it is that we are all founder members, the three of us here. Mm. And uh, the party I'm talking about, uh, we, we formed it uh, 20 years ago. And so there's nothing uh, that the public doesn't know about who we are, where we are from, and how we have built, what our DNA is, and, and what we believe in. However, I need to apologize to the country, to our members and to our supporters and to all you all Democrats that uh, what you see happening to us is a um, is very well unwelcome sight. And, uh, but that's what we have to deal with mm. and we're here to deal with it. And so the events that have played out in the media in the last month are a tragic failure of leadership. Uh, by ourselves, uh, a tragic disrespect of organs and procedures within the party. And it was inevitable that this had to happen mm. because for me who sits in all these organs and for me who, who has been at the, at, at the start and who is there now, I can tell you that there's, um, there's, uh, there's, there's inbuilt anger within us. Mm about how things are going and uh, how things should be going. A tragic failure of leadership. Correct. A tragic failure of uh, respecting party organs. Yes. What exactly are you trying to tell? What I'm you? telling you is that our party constitution provides for how the party is run. And so it has, it has four organs. There's the working committee and the national executive committee, which are, which are headed by the party president, and we have the National Council and the National Delegates Conference, which are headed by the party chair. And we wanted to balance power and to have checks and balances, and also to provide, uh, to, to, to spread the risk. Mm. If, if you get a, a group of mad fellows to overrun you, then you must have a fallback position. And so we prepared power and this exercise in that way. So what we have right now is a disabled National Executive Committee. Disabled. Mm -hmm. Until this morning, I thought it was a mistake. But this morning, I confirmed to myself that there's something badly wrong and deliberately wrong to, to break up our party. By who? By the party president. You're speaking about? This morning. Patrick until Amoriat this morning, Oboy. until this morning, I thought maybe something is not happening. Maybe, maybe I didn't, I didn't interpret it properly. Maybe, maybe. But this morning, I confirmed to myself, mm. and it took me this long. You, 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 you called it uh, fundamental disrespect. What you're you see? Yes, and and, and now when, you're saying when the we party set president up, is not. Yes, because he's the head. Mm -hmm. 
Usually we tell people here that the head, the, 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 the fish does what? Starts rotting from the head? Yes. Mm. And for us, we are asking our head, our president, to, to give us the opportunity to discuss the state of our party. And the only organ available to us is the National Executive Committee. And? And he has refused to call it mm. for six weeks now, for eight weeks now. Can, 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 can FDC survive its current we can, situation? We can, for sure we can. Will you survive it? We will. How? And we should. How? Because How? I know, I can tell you ex 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 uh, strictly, I know where the problem is, is located. Mm. If you fail to call party organs to function, then what are you doing to that party? You're killing it. I'll tell you, and they will confirm, mm. that we used to have neck meetings every month, every week. During the time of Dr. Vesige, during the time of Honorable Muntu, and partly the time of Honorable uh, Poa. Mm. Now, when we thought we had stabilized the party, we said maybe now we should make it fortnight. The last one we had was a month ago, mm. maybe a month and a half. So how do you run a party without functioning organs? And that's the crux of the matter. There are no other problems elsewhere. Problems we were told were money, dirty money as you called it. Money, no money, whatever. The management of ourselves is the heart of the problem. If we manage ourselves properly, the rest can be resolved. Honorable Winnie, let me come to you. Let's go back to 2017-2018. You have a meeting. You went out. You had been consulting party members to try and establish or draw some consensus. You return. You're supposed to present your report to the party. You have a meeting at Fair Hotel where you're supposed to discuss that. And the decision from Fairway Hotel is you're working out and creating a new party alliance for national transformation. FDC split almost right in the middle. I've been made to understand that an effort was made for some sort of reconciliation after that nationwide consultation, consultative process. 2018. Is that right or not? You, 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 you had been to the Muntu camp together with Ibrahim Semu Junganda. But you refused to have a meeting with uh, Poa, and you walked out. And if this is where it is now, uh, building up from uh, a series of issues that have been happening over the last 20 years of its short existence. Well, I think I may say that the, what is happening right now, mm. I may not relate it to what happened in 2018. 18? Because mm. like Salam is saying, if, if what she's saying is the right thing that is happening right now, because I no longer sit on the organs of the party like she has mentioned. During Mutu's time, meetings were sitting. Yes. And, and, issues were, and issues were being resolved. Correct. I said this issue again when we were here on the 27th of last month, mm. when, we were discuss when we started the discussion of the FDC troubles, that when we walked out of the FDC, the issue was about the strategy that had been developed then. Mm. The camps that were campaigning in 2017, the Muntu camp and the Poa camp, the issue was Muntu's camp thought of using two strategies in the political party. The one of building party structures while incorporating the activism part of it. The Poa camp was talking about using only activism mm. and his slogan was one party one strategy while for us we thought that the, the two strategies could work and bring the party to where we wanted to take it so when the elections happened and Muntu lost we kept asking ourselves if the party needs to take only one strategy what about us who believe that party uh, building structures of the party and using activism through the structures that have been built 
can work concurrently? What do we do? So that was the question that we went asking people. Mm. Do you think the two strategies can still be incorporated? The issue was no. The other slogan was one party, one strategy. One strategy. And the strategy was activism. Mm. So the people said, I think if for you, you don't sacrifice your two-way approach to fit in the one approach that the party wants, then I think it will not work. And I think that is why Muntu said, I think we have reconcilable differences. But you, you, you're looking at uh, different points of fissures within the party. Yeah. If you look back over the 20 years of the Forum for Democratic Change, trace where Betty Kamia was and her point of breaking with the party. Mm. Other people that are broken. The early elections around uh, 2013, mm -hmm. when Dr. Biskiza Besijakat shot his term, leading to 2016, come to 20, 2015, 2016. Mm. There's a debate on whether the Forum for Democratic Change should join TDA or not. Mm. And the delegation led by power, <coughs> walks to Bugolovi and walks Kiza Besage. Was it Bugolovi or Naguru? It was Naguru. Yes. Walks Kiza Besage out of a meeting that was supposed to agree on fronting a joint candidate. Mm. Two years later, 2017, 2018, you're meeting at Fair Hotel. Yeah. Now a delegation walks in and walks out power mm -hmm. to disagree with. Yeah. To, to dis in, in, in disagreement with uh, Mugisha Mundo, you're looking at a party that has been struggling with itself for a large part of the last half of its life. Yeah. What does that mean for FDC in 2023? You know, Charles, you also need to understand the situation within which we are operating as a political party. Mm. <laughs> the situation we are operating in is that while the party is growing, during the stages of growth or even a human being, they are ups and downs. A child will crawl. At times they may even break their limbs. At mm. times they may even break their tooth as they grow. So this has happened with the FDC. But they grow. As it is yeah. growing. Mm. Sometimes there are people who feel the growth is very fast and they may not match with the speed at a which growing it is growing. Doesn't create then a growing part doesn't create branch There are those other people who yeah. feel the growth is slow mm. and they can't match with it. But then, there are also those who feel uncomfortable with the, the growth. With the growth. Yeah. And sometimes they will say, no, let's give it <coughs> a break. Is, and like many... Is, 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 is FTC, would you describe that as growth? I will say yes, it was growing. It was and growing. It and it is happened. still growing. Is. From, and from the main opposition party in parliament to now a... You no longer have the leadership. I mean, the party that no longer has the leadership let in me, parliament. Let me ask you, Charles. No longer has the numbers. Let me ask. You, let me Look, ask you, I, Charles. No, just, just a minute. <laughs> yes. A party that you're no longer a part of because now you belong to a new political party, yes. which you would say is growing, is that a sign of growth? Well, it depends on how it is growing. Mm. If I may also let you understand that many of these leaders who are in the NRM, they were in UPC. At some point in the growth of UPC, mm. or at some point in the growth of DP, many people felt, no, I think this is not how we started. Mm. And this is not how we feel we should grow. Along the way, they said, no, I think how we started and how we are progressing, we may not continue this way. They broke off mm. and started things differently. They started NRM. Now others started the FDC, others have started the ANT. the ANT, others came up with now the PPP, because you will also realize Vidandi Sali was into the NRM, and they kept doing what? Going away. And you describe that as growth? NRM is growing. You, you don't, you, you, I, I'm sure Paul, uh, oh, oh will tell you that D they are... D D DP and UPC, where NRM drew its earlier now, members... That is what I was, is what I was, what I yeah. was referring to. Yes. That when the growth is happening, mm. yes, some people may break their limbs and you find a, a child is having no arm. Mm -hmm. 
maybe as the child was trying uh, to see how child, they can and, climb, and you don't say the child has Th not that grown. That child has a classification. You a, will a not child with disabilities. Yes, now yes. that is what we are but coming to. Child. It mm. is a child. Yes. And you will not say it is not 20 years because it has a broken <laughs> arm. A child but during the a, growth, a child dis with disability during needs the special help. Is a special child. Yes. Yes. Is a child. Even when the child has a disability, is a child. Mm. And even when the child has a disability, is growing in terms of age. Mm -hmm. Well, they might be growing in terms of age but has lost an arm, mm. that is a different issue. Now, in this case, the FDC is losing arms. You get? When we were discussing this matter, I said my disappointment is that the issues of FDC which would have been discussed in-house are coming to the open before mm. they get into in-house. That is how Semuju said, when we thought we would discuss them inside, someone folded the sleeves and mm -hmm. wanted to box others. That is how the Kabaka and Jagara thing came in that you have been referring to. Mm. Of the short sleeves and of long the sleeves. short sleeve. So as we speak right now, I'm so worried that the FDC, which I was part of starting, may never remain the same as it would have been some years back okay because like you have mentioned betty left she was a pillar in the fdc mm -hmm. general Muntu and group left was a pillar i'm there not was mama mavira there was mama mavira she mm. was equally a pillar in this current fracas i'm not so sure that <laughs> these two worrying factions will still remain the same. That is where my disappointment is. Before because we go even when we are in the Alliance for National Transformation, we have been cooperating with the FDC because all of us anyway are in the opposition. So okay. as opposition actors, we have been working together. So the unity of the opposition is a thing that we have been looking forward to. Be before I go Working to together is uh. one of the strengths that we have been thinking. Now, okay. you talked about uh, some members of the FDC mm. working to the offices of uh, a TDA, TDA yes. and removing Dr. Besige. Mm. 2016, 2015. 20, 2015, yes. before we went into the elections of 2016. Mm. I think it was also unfortunate. Because at that time, we were trying to come up with something that we thought the country wanted at that time. Mm. Now, it is unfortunate that the people who thought we are preserving FDC at that time, because that was the issue, we want to preserve our party. We can't allow our party to be muzzled. I think indications were like Vesija was not going to be made the flag bearer. Mm. So those enthusiastic leaders said we can't be party to this. That is how they went for, F for Vesija and said for us as FDC, we are owning up our candidate and we must continue mm. as FDC in this. And indeed, we all complied and went as FDC into the process. But it's unfortunate that those who thought of preserving the party, ensuring that the party continues to grow as FDC, are now the ones who are Be spoiling the good image Thank you. that before they I go, had Before I go do. to the gentleman, uh, the, the wise man from the east, uh, of Onopondo and... Uh, and uh, Geoffrey Ekanya. By the way, there is uh, this wise, wise woman. woman. Yes. I, I, from the East. I, I agree. I, and my apologies uh -huh. for missing that. <laughs> <laughs> just in case you missed it. Let, 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 let me sh just share this message. Um, uh, this is a tweet that came out earlier this evening uh, from uh, the chairman of uh, the National Association of Broadcasters. I want to read it. I'm happy to announce that His Excellency the President at Yori Kaguta Museveni has this evening decided to reverse the presidential directive he made on Monday, March 6, 2023, in which all government of Uganda advertising was to only be limited to Uganda Broadcasting Corporation, UBC, effectively cutting out um, majority private media players and affecting very many Ugandans. This has been at a crucial meeting between His Excellency the President and the National Association of Broadcasters, Executive Committee, and the team of media executives we have extensively deliberated on the impact of the directive. Uh, be open to all media houses. He, the president said uh, advertising should be open to all media houses, fostering healthy competition. This goes down as a major win for Uganda's vibrant media landscape. I am grateful to His Excellency the President at Kaguta Museveni 
for considering NAB's input and granting the reversal of the directive. Appreciation also goes to uh, goes out to the government team, especially the Prime Minister, Attorney General, Ministers of ICT and Finance, and the Parliament of Uganda for staying true to a private sector-led economy. This highlights the importance of a free, independent media in driving growth for our beloved Uganda. To the members of NAB Uganda, together we have made a difference, kudos, to your dedication in working as a team, leading to this favorable outcome, a united voice, a brighter future. Special thanks to the president's team for his, this resolution. Uh, onward, Uganda. So that is a message from uh, Mr. Kin Karisa. And for, for, for you, you, you've had private players in this environment working together and staying true, calling uh, a boycott of government functions yeah. uh, relating to advertising. Mm -hmm. um, uh, NAB was the first to make the call. The media houses responded. The Parliamentary Press Association followed, and uh, government was forced to listen. And uh, developments were shared along the way uh, for the media to work together and demand uh, for its due share. The president was, had proposed that to keep UBC running, it needed to channel <laughs> all advertising through UBC. <laughs> you see <laughs> the, how warped the whole thing the, the, is. There's still debate totally about... Totally distorted they still in debate, a free market economy. There's still debate about... Uh, I, I, I saw Kim the other day uh, uh, arguing about Signet and what it should be doing and what it shouldn't be doing. But let's continue discussing the Forum for Democratic Change <laughs> and <laughs> what its future looks like. Uh, Ofono, let me come to you after um, uh, Geoffrey Ekanya. <coughs> Ekanya, what... You, you, you belong, you're a minister in the people's government. You are the treasurer of the Forum for Democratic Change. Can your party find redemption? The good news is that uh, in 2001, we started the reform agenda with Kanuki Zabesije. And later on, with the Honorable Salama here, joined. I became the Secretary General of Reform Agenda. After that election, Kano Kizabishi stayed in exile. And we kept the flag flying for the position. Mm. And therefore. Forget I was the Secretary for Gender. Yes, uh, Honorable gender. Winnie was the Secretary for Gender. <laughs> but then she was a very vibrant politician in Cassese, mm. working closely. So you can see some of us, with the people of Uganda then, Doctor was in exile. We mm. kept the flag going. And we gave the people of this country hope. Honorable Salama and others, Honorable Dombo, pushed the Parliamentary Advocacy Forum powerful. While Doctor was in exile, we invited him when now Parliament powerful was ready with the reform agenda, with the Sharpa Karohanga, and formed the FDC. We have moved miles. And I can assure you, then five years after 2006 election, I warned members of the party that the philosophy upon which the party is formed will create us a problem in the future. Because worldwide, parties must be owned. In the UK, the conservative owns the conservative party. In the US, you know the capitalist own the Labour Party and the Conservative own uh, the Democrat, and then the Labour is owned by the uh, Conservative worldwide. In South Africa, because of Africanization, the ANC, that's why it is strong. NRM is being held by a thread of President Museveni's survival. If you do not have an, organ if you have an organization that anybody can walk in and take leadership, that organization runs a risk. Clubs, football clubs are owned by people. Mm. And I warned the party that we needed to create a foundation, a foundation, a financial foundation that would support the party to remain firm. And that foundation was owned by impeccable Ugandans who want the future of this country to be better. And then they would facilitate, train, groom, identify leaders of the party. That was a framework I proposed. Some people did not listen. <coughs> Later on, recently, after 2011, 2016, I kept on engaging the leadership of the party. Mm. And I said, since we have failed to take power, 
And I told Dr. Kizabesi and others, after three elections, I gave, I gave a graph. I said, you know, in life, you go up and you go down. Mm. Honorable Salam, you remember? In the meetings we had, I said, you go up and down. You never stay on straight line forever. And that's why Raila Odinga, a strategy for survival, opted in and out. In the UK, in Germany, parties form alliance to stay alive and vibrant, in and out. Our leaders of our party, some of them decided to remain rigid, applying one front, applying one strategy, and applying anger. And as a result, we have lost some young people because they wanted to use anger to, to, to attain power. That's how we lost the little poker and others. Because they often say now, if it has become very hard for us to use democratic means, let us go to exile and try to mobilize. This message, you're going to need to be aware. Because even the NRM, the way it is standing now, if it's not handled very well, can lead us to a bigger problem. So the hope the people we're going to have in FDC, people who are in the military, instead of them opting to organize a military coup, they know that there are people that are organized that one day will remove this dictatorship. And I want to give them this message today, that FDC will survive the storm. This is a storm. This is a storm. We will survive it. And that's why some of us have not been engaged in blame game. Mm. I'm the treasurer general of the party. I should be the one asked about money because no money leaves the party without my signature. The bank will always call me. But I opted to keep quiet because it doesn't help me to go to the public that I have got my sister with a cousin having sex. When you get such a problem, you call the elders. And then there will be a clan meeting. And once the decision of the clan becomes binding, if you insist, you are excommunicated from that clan. Honorable Kanya, you've been struggling with the question of money in FDC, and it's good that the, the treasurer of the party is the one speaking. Yes. You've been struggling with the issue of that money. We do not know how much. We do not know from where. But we know some of the money arrived, was packed in bags, some 280 million driven to the party president's hope, or given the party president. Some 300 million we now learn driven to your founding president's home. Some other money driven to other places. The only money that the public is now aware of uh, comes to about that 500 million, uh, six, uh, close to 600 million. That money, you've been struggling with it, trying to deal with the problem internally for the last three years. You have failed until it exploded. You see, my brother. You started that around the election time. No, get me. Yes. Since 2001, I was in the center of campaign for Kanu Kizabesiji. 2006, 2011, 2016, even the last one. We have not been campaigning using water. We have been using money. We don't have a tree where we print money. You get me? We don't have a bank where we rob and use get money from. The NRM uses money. UPC uses money. Every party, even in your home, you use money. But nobody goes to announce that my daughter is in international school, I am earning a salary of 5 million, and I'm paying 10 million. That is not an issue for discussion here. Honorable Kanya, some... I am the treasurer general, my brother. Honorable Kanya, where things stand today, yes. a level of honesty is required of you, the leaders of FDC. Yes. To say that your founding president, this money was so secret that even your founding president was only told, keep this portion without that internal council of elders. You used an analogy. When you find a cousin having sex with a sister, you call the elders and have a discussion. Who is more elder in FDC than Dr. Kiza Besage? That even him wasn't made aware of the source of the money, how much it was, that it has exploded to what it has exploded to, and is putting the Forum for Democratic Change on a precipice, where some members, I've been speaking to some members of your party, 
Some members think it's time to move on and discuss new ways of dealing with the internal contradictions. Some members think the party will find redemption. There are other Ugandans out there watching us who do not know what will happen. And let me tell you, the media has hyped these rumors. It is the media, and the media enjoys because Ugandans have financial You've challenges. You've been inviting us to your press conferences, sir. I am telling you. We, we are not inviting ourselves. <laughs> we, you, 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 you have put your party it, chairman. Look, it's not the media that put the party chairman to climb over a fence. The chairman. It's not the media that called two press conferences, one at Katonga, another at Najanangumbi. It's not the media. It's not the media that caused that meeting at Nzambia. You called this. You can't blame the media. Because, Why don't you, you know, we, people, some of the leaders who have mm. held meetings in Zambia, in Katonga, at the party quarters, are trying to respond to the media. And that's why I'm saying, as a treasurer general, I opted to keep quiet. Mm. Because all those people are talking what they don't know. I am the treasurer general. So tell us. We account for every coin that we get. And we account through the electoral commission. We have a policy in FDC. There's what we call statecraft, my brother. Mm. Even in NBS here, there's what we call statecraft or management craft system. We agreed as a policy that during fundraising, we are free to declare certain sources, and certain sources we are free not to declare. Mm. You just bring the money. When I was running for FDC you, president... You're caught in a quandary. You're no, caught in a quandary. The, there is an accusation coming from a man May, may I complete? You, you are caught in a situation where you're accusing one another. At Have the you had me accusing anybody? Just, just a minute. No, you as leaders of the FDC, at the most senior level of entertaining and embracing what you have called dirty money. Now you're finding the media to blame instead of uh, owning up? Because let me tell I've told you, some of these people want to respond to things they don't know. Mm -hmm. I have said I'm the treasurer general of the party. I, account, I will receive money. I account to every shilling. And our, uh, the, the account is audited. We submit a, a report to electoral commission. The report is audited by auditor general. And every year we continue receiving more money. Because under the Political Pattern Organization Act, every shilling that you receive, either from a brother or a sister, that you use during campaign, you are supposed to account for it. Mm. And we have account by the FDC, is one, the only part, I think, that accounts to dot and on time. You, have you can failed, check with the Electoral you, Commission. You have failed to account internally, haven't you? No. You see, that, that's what I'm saying. It is the media that entice some saying, people, and some people enjoy appearing before the media to explain issues they don't you know. Who, Come to the Treasurer General. I have record know, of uh, and accountability. Honorable Kanya, we know the people have been speaking to the media. So who are you referring to? Who is enjoying the media limelight? Some of these people, you who know whom you, you, go to, you, you go to invite. Let mm. me tell you, my partnership person said eh, that for him, he, he, he lived in Katwe, therefore he was exercising himself whether he was still fit or not fit. Mm, that's why he was climbing over the So fence. he opted to do that, uh. to test our security, to test the, his strength and his stamina. <laughs> yes, that's my brother. Not true. That's what the chairman said <laughs> no, and is on record. That is not true. Because let me tell you, my brother, chairperson. Listen, listen to me. You've got to be honest to ourselves. I'm very honest. There's a situation uh, that, that, is, that is not acceptable in our body politics. And uh, we ought to, to, to deal with it. Mm. He, as Treasurer General, can speak for the Treasury. Uh, but for others, like the party chairman with whom I had a meeting this afternoon, I can't let that pass. Mm. Because this is not a joke. This is a man who could have died. Those spikes could have pierced him in the wrong place. You, 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 so you exercising, I don't, I don't exercising would have included mm. maybe those spikes uh, getting a part of his trousers and then By tearing the, it open. That, but did he get hurt? He didn't. He you, said you, it on record there, and there are videos <laughs> of his speech. And there are four. Honorable Kanya, let me just on, on a Kanya, you, 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 you've been uh, part of the Forum for Democratic Change since its reform agenda days. Yes. You represent people of Tororo in Parliament. Mm. Yes. Are you being honest? I am being very honest. I'm telling you the party will survive. Whoever thinks and, 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 this, and, and, no, and your honesty get is that the Whoever party chairman, the, the party chairman, Ambassador Waswa Birigwa, was exercising by climbing over the wall fence of your party because you, the party had ordered shut the gates of the party 
How did he enter? And he couldn't why, enter? Why don't you get the, vi the video clip of his statement during the National Council? What is Why saying? don't you get the video clip yeah, of him it climbing on, over it. and being assisted over the fence? You know, you bring, bring the video clip and what he said during the National Council. Mm. You, let me tell you, I want to assure every Ugandan and whoever thinks that FD is going to be weak, uh, like some of those people are saying, oh, we are finished, and they are FDC members. Let them declare that they have quit the party. The party is very strong. It has a network in the grassroots. And whoever wants to win the next election must tow the party policy, operate within the party constitution, and abide by the system. Mr. Fono Pondo, let me, let me bring you to this discussion. Um, <laughs> and I'm sorry I've kept you waiting for, for, for this long. But um, from where you sit, it may not just be about the Forum for Democratic Change, but the general health of political parties, including your own national resistance movement, and the others when there is this level of uh, squabbling. What does it mean for a liberal country, a, a, a well, pursuing liberal democracy? As far as I know, NRM currently has no internal disquiet, as far as I know. So I think for now, let us leave NRM aside. But I'm not a, a Christian, but I read the Bible. John 1.8. <laughs> please check. Yes, That's says, coming from yes, me. Please says, check. <laughs> uh -huh. If we say we don't have sin, we are deceiving ourselves, and the truth is not with us. Mm. From the submission of, particularly of my two colleagues, the, the ladies, you can see they are denying that they have issues including the Kenya here. And so the truth is not with them. You haven't said there are no <coughs> issues. Now, Honorable Salam said, Salam said, our DNA, FDC. Let us dissect the DNA of FDC for a minute. <coughs> Let's go to particularly the, the two branches that form the FDC, the main two branches that form the FDC. There were three. I I'm talking about main. the two main ones. I said main. Mm. <laughs> they were equal. One was of a group of what we call disgruntled NRM. Particularly the NRM of 86, 96. Disgruntled. Led by VCJ, Windivia Nima, Jack Sabiti, Augustine Rosindana, and others. Let's go to the second main, the groups that had come from DP and UPC, the group of Cecilia Oguans and so on. <clears throat> they had also been disgruntled, expanded from UPC and DP. So FDC at inception was crafted around disgruntlement. And what built it was a lies, concoction, intrigue. We are the one who has given a litany of leaders. FDC lost Bitkamia in a similar manner. Same accusations that is now being leveled against the Nandala Mafavi and others. You remember the other chairman, John Butime the late? After the death of Chigundu, I think, John Butimi, the brother of Honorable Tom Butimi, mm. became the national chairman of FDC. By the time he died, he had recanted FDC and returned to NRM. Ask why. You better go and study. We know why. Look at the people who have fallen out of FDC. My sister here likes being here and not here. My, 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 my sister, Winnie, mm. they split badly. That was a major split because FDC lost in one go. I think 11 members of parliament, then sitting members of parliament, either who did not bother at all to go back and pick FDC, to even, even to attempt picking FDC cards for the election of 2020-2021, or they were denied on suspicion of double-crossing the party with the NRM. 
the likes of Abu Dukatuntu and others. <laughs> this is a bigger y lie. Yes. Yes. No. Even in Muntu, yes. No. You are saying you split because of strategy, whether you should build the structures or just go for activism. FDC already had the structures. So what, what was required was actually strengthening the structures of FDC. So even that uh, argument, that narrative is a lie that I wanted to build structures. No. Mm. FDC already had structures from the village to the national level, and it was renewing those structures. So even the Muntus are not being genuine in the reason for, for living. You remember after BCJ left in 2013, the contest at that time, and the, the bad mouthing persisted until the fallout in 2018. Now let me just give uh, if my Mr. Pono, if you'll indulge me, yeah, I want no, to give you no, more no, time. No, no. I, 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 I just I just want to give you yes. this one. I think part of a major problem of FDC is the refusal by Mr. BCG, having announced that he had left the leadership of the party mm. at that level, president of the party, to try to micromanage, hold the party first from his home in Kasangati, and then shifting. You remember throughout Muntu, for you, you are just saying there's, there, there are two factions in Katanga. Throughout Muntu, the leadership, that was when Katanga was established to rival, and in my view, mm. deliberately to undermine. My suspicion, my suspicion is that Mr. Wesley has been planting puppets, installing puppets. Mm. This time he installed the puppets. You remember that the election that brought you uh, power? Yes. You, you, I, I you, think the belief you, you, in you, you, the, the, you, 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 you promised is, to conclude that so belief, that they can... No, can. his belief was this, this pudo of power will bid, will, will, will do my bidding. I suspect, and that's why the issue of the data man comes. Le, 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 I suspect. Le, le, let's come and pick this up. He, he, he thinks it was short change. Le, le, let's come and pick this up. Uh, I, I'll be asking <laughs> oh, oh, a question that uh, isn't FDC somewhat vindicated uh, looking at where Betty Kamia ended or how she oh, ended up, uh, looking at how Beatrice uh, Anua ended and, uh, and, and, and uh, I'll, I'll Joyce Sebuguao. We'll, we'll, we'll come to that in a moment after a very short break.